Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this video where we're exploring the angel of Nathaniel. Now when it comes to angels, do I believe that angels are these big winged beings that appear at the end of your bed occasionally and tell you where you left your car keys? Well, no I don't. And one of the reasons being is when people describe angels, they always seem to describe different versions of them. A really interesting survey of what the appearance of Archangel Michael was yielded some really interesting results based on who the people you're asking. When they asked people throughout Asia, they described Michael as having an Asian appearance. When they spoke to people of Caucasian background, then they found that they described Michael as being Caucasian, whereas people with coloured skin described Michael as being coloured. So I believe that angels are high vibration entities, probably more than we can actually conceive. It's kind of like trying to conceive what ultraviolet or infrared would actually look like if we could see it. They're beyond our perception. By personifying angels, it allows us to connect with those different energies. So why do we work with angels and not purely with the creator? Well, because angels are a slice of the creator and they are the divine essence in different forms. Today, we're looking at an angel in one particular divine form, a gift that has actually allowed humanity to evolve to its point today. And without it, we may not be where we are. That's fire. Nathaniel is the angel of fire. And so in this video, we're going to explore how we actually align with Nathaniel, the gifts that fire brings us, and how we can actually work with that together to bring some more harmony, some more power, and some passion and empowerment and transformation into our lives. The L at the end of many angels' names means of God. And when it comes to Nathaniel, his name translates to mean gift of God. And what a gift fire was to humanity. Nathaniel would be an angel that you could call upon if you're trying to light a fire when you're out camping, but he's actually about so much more than that. He actually helps to awaken that spark of insight that brings transformation. So whenever you're feeling like maybe the fires within you have been dulled, this would be a great time to work with Nathaniel, or whenever you're needing some type of inspiration or new ideas. Because of this, as we start to have new ideas, either once or ongoingly, that allows transformation. You know, when I talk to a lot of people about fire and I ask them to describe what the element of fire is all about, they'll say things like destruction and destroying. Because we look at wildfires that go through and ravish different parts of our environment and different parts of the world, and we always focus on what we're lost. Now, I'm not here to say that that is not a sad part of it, especially when they're man-created rather than nature just doing its thing. But fire does play a role in nature. In Australia, where I'm from, certain seed pods don't open unless they're exposed to the heat of fire. And in fact, there are three different birds of prey that will use fire to hunt in Australia. They'll pick up smouldering twigs, fly with them elsewhere, and drop it to start other fires to flush out rodents to enable them to hunt. God, Australia's wild, isn't it? But fire, it, yes, it destroys some things, and what it does is it brings new life to others. So think of fire as being transformational. When we work with the angel Nathaniel, we're looking for that spark within us, whether it be a spark of an idea, a spark of reigniting a passion that's maybe been lost over the years in a relationship or a love of something that you used to love, but obligations and duties have kind of dampened that flame or something else. As we draw in and bring Nathaniel into our lives and allow those fans to be flamed again, that passion arises within us, we start to transform our life for the future. That is why we would work with Nathaniel, and that's exactly what Nathaniel governs. There are three different ways that you may want to work with Nathaniel and the element of fire. First of all, as we said before, fire can be destructive. So if there is something that you want to banish from your life, don't start setting things on fire, or houses or possessions or anything like that, but we can do a bit of a banishing ritual. Now, a great thing to do is think about what you want to get rid of and set it on fire. However, we want to make sure we're doing this at an appropriate time of the lunar month or time of the year. A lot of people like to do setting things on fire rituals around the full moon. Now the full moon energy is when we have the sun and the moon and perfect equilibrium. The masculine and feminine are equilibrium. It's a time of birthing, magic and gifts coming into our lives. Remember, the universe doesn't know what you want and what you don't want. It only gives energy flows where attention goes. So if you're burning things on the full moon, 
you're, you're actually helping it happen quicker. And I'll talk about that in a second. The best time to work with Nathaniel and get rid of things from your life and work with that fire element is actually the dark moon, the night before the new moon actually helps. So set things there, write them out, set them on fire, be very safe with fire, don't burn your house down or anyone else's. Fire can also be very, very protective and you can actually use the energy of Nathaniel to keep you safe and protected. Visualizing fire around you, you know that anything that comes towards you will obviously be deflected, transformed, and you'll be safe. So whenever you're going into a confrontational um, circumstance, whenever you need to kind of step up, whenever you want to ignite your own flames within you, then Nathaniel can be really great in that way as well. Thirdly, when you do need to ignite that fire within you. So if you're feeling that your the flames within have gone in your passion for life, in your passion for a, a relationship, in a passion for a job, and it's not something that you can straight away move away from or you don't want to move away from it and you want to reignite that, then call upon Nathaniel to help ignite those fires within you as well. Whether it be working with fires within you or working with fire around you, and yes, if there are things like threats of wildfires or you're trying to light a fire, any type of fire, Nathaniel can definitely be your guardian and a supporter in that way. To work with Nathaniel, then bring candles and elements of fire around. Anything to do with candle magic, and I have a video on candle magic on my channel, check that out if you'd like to learn a little bit more. Calling Nathaniel in will help you with from that angelic realm to enhance that a little bit more as well. If you keep on noticing fire, if a spark catches your eye, if you've been drawn to candles recently, then maybe Nathaniel is actually saying, there's something in your life that needs to transform. We need to banish something to bring something new in, or we need to awaken your passions. And Nathaniel will use fire, candles, and sparks to grab your attention when there is something important that you need to know. When you're working with Nathaniel, of course, you can bring in different gifts here on Mother Earth to actually align with the fiery energy as well. When I'm working with Nathaniel, I go for one or two crystals. If you're just starting to get to work with him, then maybe go with what's called fire agate. Fire agate, when you get a really nice piece, you'll actually see flashes of fire within it. Agates are very grounding, so this helps to kind of nourish that strength of fire within you and can be a really good one to program that whenever you have it near, Nathaniel and that protective or that uh, transformative energy is around you. If you'd like to kind of go a little bit deeper and keep working with Nathaniel, maybe you've got a lot of fire in your birth chart and you want to use that in a positive way rather than a destructive way, then fire opal is really great. Opals have a really playful energy, but also a really powerful energy and can be really protective as well. I love actually working with fire opals and visualizing them as being a transformative and protection around me. I imagine that any negative energy that comes to me is transformed by the fire, sent back to that person to enable them to realize the lessons of the wrongdoing they've done. So when you need that kind of transforming energy, fire opal can be really great. You can also make a Nathaniel Archangel blend as well. And I love to mix three different essential oils together. First of all, I choose frankincense. Frankincense has a very yang, a very king energy, and it helps you to kind of step into your own strength, just as fire gives us strength and warmth as well. Frankincense does the same thing. Another warming oil that is really, really powerful is ginger. Ginger has a very Mars energy, a very driven energy. It's actually great when we inhale it for helping to raise our vital energy, not just physically, but also on a magical level as well. Ginger helps with nausea. So when we are feeling disempowered and stuck in our lives and we need that transformation, we often reach for ginger. And thirdly, tangerine. Tangerine in the citrus family is the explorer's oil. It helps to ignite our interest and our passion to be driven forward. It encourages us to go out and seek and thus our inspiration and sparks of inspiration start to come as well. So you can mix frankincense, ginger and tangerine all together and maybe pop it in something like a diffuser or anoint yourself with it, or you can work with these oils individually. These, along with fire opal and fire agate, can work as amulets to help you commune and kind of connect with the energy and the vibration of Nathaniel to bring that essence of destruction, transformation and illumination and protection into your life. Nathaniel is one of the lesser known angels, but I'd love to know, have you ever worked with Nathaniel and what has been the impact on your life? Please share with our community below and leave a comment sharing your stories and your experiences. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrowley. Blessed be.